Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an MSI laptop. This is a MSI Katana GF6611UC. The exact model is an MS-1580T. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can add extra storage or you can change the main storage to a higher capacity and what are the good combinations that you can have in here. In this case, this laptop comes with a Kingston MS NVMe storage which is not a great quality NVMe storage, so we purchased a better quality storage, which is a Samsung uh, 970 EVO Plus. You can go a little overboard and you can go with a Samsung 980 Pro, which is a higher performance and durability uh, storage. But in this case, for the client, we're gonna put upgrade the main storage, which is a 500 gigabyte Kingston to a one terabyte uh, 980, 970 EVO Plus. Also, and then I'm gonna show you guys if you wanna add an, another storage, you could add it, and the way you can add that one. All right, with all this set, just remember once you replace the main storage, you wanna back up your files, and then you have reinstalled the Windows. I made a really short video, how to create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description in case you wanna purchase yours, I mean, create yours. I made another video how to install it properly on your laptop. It takes literally five to 10 minutes to install the Windows. And with a few Windows updates, you're ready to go. So it's not a really complicated steps and you can do it at any time. All right, with all this set, let's get it started. First thing, back up your files in case you want to upgrade the main storage. Then you want to flip it upside down. I'm gonna go over the screwdriver set that I use. It's an iFixit screwdriver set. You're gonna use a Phillips number zero. And if you purchase the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. With these two on hand, we're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height, except one screw right over here. So we wanna remove this tiny screw and keep them in a separate file. Now start from one corner and remove the rest of the screws. Also, if you guys like my video, if you find my video helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the commentary. All right, now that we remove all the screws, what do you want to do? You want to grab yourself the opening tool and you want to put it on this position. You want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there. Move it around and then you find a nice place to stick it there and then you want to just twist it, twist it, and you want to hear those click sounds. That's what you want to hear. To the front, go to the side, left and right side. There you go. Then you can close it down. You wanna grab from the bottom where you open it up and wiggle it around like this gently the while lifting up and it will get released. And right away, you can see this one is pretty heavy. Right over here, there's a metal, metal bracket, metal sheet right in here. These are heavy. This is to compensate for the empty space for the storage that you have in here. So without this one in here, the laptop has a tendency to fall back on the screen side to prevent that, they put this metal sheet right in here. You can leave it there. Now, right away, I can see an M.2 right in here, Kingston 500 gig. And there's a connector for a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD right over here. To put one right over here, just lift up this gummy pillar. Grab yourself the SSD 2.5 inch. Make sure then the connectors are facing the same orientation right through there, the small one and the big one, and then you want to slide it right in there. You want to move these cables out of the way a little bit. And there we have it. If you're putting an SSD, you don't need to put any caddy to hold it in place. It's not going to go anywhere and it's fine in there. You can put a little double-sided tape, foamy tape on this bottom so it doesn't do this sound. And that's how you can add an extra storage right in here, up to two terabyte SSD with no problem. Okay, then if you're not, just put this one right over. Now to remove the 
M.2 right away here. You don't need to disconnect the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary, so don't do that. Just remove one screw right on top of the SSD right in there. And you want to lift up this SSD. It has a little tiny thermal pads underneath. Gently bring it in 45 degree. Once you find it is loose, then you want to pull it back like that. Now you can see this big huge thermal pads right on top. Just put it there. So there you have your old uh, M.2. There's no other M.2 space in here, so you can have only one. So grab your new M.2. So let's open up this one. And grab your new M.2. Make sure the notch on the M.2 matches the notch right on the jack. Bring it down in 45 or 15 degree like that and push it all the way inside the jack. And then bring it down and hold it and tie, put up the tiny screw right over. And there we have it. Now you have your new SSD in there. If you have upgraded your secondary storage to an, another storage, you can. You can have a two terabyte in here, a two terabyte right over here for a total of four terabyte with no problem. Or you can just have a one terabyte, which is more than enough for some people right in there. Now, to put the cover back on, just bring it straight right over, push down the back end, make sure it does click down on the sides, on the front, in here. Put the tiny screw right over here, and put one screw right on the corner back. Okay, and the screw right in here. These are the hinge screws, so those are the important ones. Now, if you open it up and you see a tiny openings like this in here, you just want to pinch them together and they will make a nice big click sound on the sides and they will close down. And the last thing down here would be to just put up the rest of the screws in its place. Now I'm going to power on, I'm going to boot up through the uh, USB, then I'll come back and I'll put the rest of the screws. So. Uh, again, this video, uh, I'm just going to show you how to boot through the USB. If I find where I put my USB, right here. So you want to put the USB right in any port. You want to power it on. If it doesn't power on, don't worry. You might want to plug in the charger for it to power on. Because I have disconnected the battery before for my other videos. So. So once you put the charger in there, uh, the USB, you might want to put plug in the charger too. You don't want to install the Windows without the charger plugged in. So plug in the charger. And once you have the charger plugged in, you want to power it on. Okay, there you go. And then it's going to start booting up through the USB. You can press F12. but it should automatically detect the USB and it should boot up to the installation menu right through here. And right away you can see that it's gonna pop up to your step-by-step -step installation guide. Okay, you also have a US, it's a Spanish installation. And then you do the next. I'll leave the link, the video, how to do it properly every step. You can follow that video to get it to the desktop and you're ready to go. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next videos.